Now we are going to walk through the assignment. Okay, the assignment is right here. What you're going to do is you're going to use these tools that you just learned about. You're going to tools you need: stake to text, stake break, JPSH win, some sort of hex editor. I don't care which one you use; they all will work. And WGIF. Okay, do it yourself. Okay. Go to this website. Click this link. It should open. There you go. That's the whole website. Okay. And inside of these are a few files. Just a few. Just a few. So here's the sun walls. See, this was way back. I made this way back when, when you know, Trump was talking about his walls. So I have all these walls. So I made all kinds of walls. And you can click on them. You can see what they are. They're actually images. They are real images. Now the problem is, see, I know the tools. See, I edited some of these images. The problem is, I know of how to change the dates and times. But you notice the dates and times are all exactly the same. So there's not one that's going to stand out. And say, aha, this one's 15 seconds off. We edited it that way. So I didn't do that. Okay, I did that real nice. So you're going to download those walls. There happens to be 9,638 files. Okay, download them. They will come into separate folders. And then find the stuff. Okay. In the past, I had students. I changed it up for you. Actually, I changed it at the end of last semester, and it worked out great. So you guys got the new edition of it. Okay. What you're going to do? You're going to go to the quiz. You're going to be assigned twenty walls or twenty questions, basically. And then you are going to answer those. The problem is there are sixty files hidden, like it says here. It says. In this example here, here's the question. This is exactly what you will see. The hidden value you'd find is I love this. Okay. Which file, first of all, what's the MD5 of the file that had that embedded in it? Not the MD5 of I love this, or not what was hidden in it, but the actual file that I hid it in. So in other words, the sun.jpg, I hid that PDF in. Remember that? I want the MD5 of the sun.jpg. I don't want it, what you extract out of it. I want the sun that you can Okay. Or I want church with mini, that one. I don't want mini or dad. I want church with mini. Okay. So I want the MD5 of the original file. I want the name of the original file you found it in. Berlin Wall, you know, parenthesis, OO2.jpg. Now, let's talk about names for a second. <laughs> If I told you to, you know, if you came to me and said it is in document one, is that a name of a file? No, it could be document one.doc, document one.xls, document one.jpg, whatever. I want complete file names, okay? Because it's very important. Now, you all should know there's a lot of different image formats. So if you literally sit there and say Berlin Wall 12, was it a JPEG or was it a PNG or was it a TIFF or was it whatever? So doc one, doc one dot doc. It, right. And in this example here, you would put Berlin wall space parenthesis 382 parenthesis dot JPG or whatever it was. Okay. So the MD5 of the file, what file it was, what the password used to extract. In other words, what did Steg break find? Because you need the password. And what was the steg detect results? In other words, when you find it, you're going to get that JPSH win. When you're using it, as I give, gave you with the five, what's the exact results you got? Was it negative? Was it one asterisk or two asterisks? The whole point of that is sometimes it's negative, yet it's not negative. As I showed you, church of many came negative once I adjusted the numbers a little bit. You can do that for each one. The problem is you're going to have to find them. And you only need to do 20, but what happens if you find one that's not yours or not? You're gonna have to keep going until you find yours. And when you find the file, you're gonna extract it, and maybe it's a picture of the words I love this, or a one of the tomato, literally the word tomato, or it could be a picture of a tomato, or it could be a PDF with a tomato in it. Or... So each person is gonna have a different find. Right. And you, I love you, you randomly are given or... 20 out of 60. <laughs> Now you all could have I love this, or maybe no one's gonna have I love this. It's 
kind of like, you know, a few of you had Mount Dew, a few of you had it, it'll be the same thing. Okay. Uh, but you should all I know is the results, the feedback I received after adjusting it to this way last semester, everybody really liked it. And all 60s in there, right? They're all in there. Okay. They're all in there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can download the website. Now, the website is quite large. Your best bet is to download it here, put it on a thumb drive. Because you can download it from home. I tell you, if you all start downloading it, we've got a 100 meg connection. You're going to be killing it. So. Down, either download it or when you get home, start downloading it. And then when it's done, you're done. But I recommend for each of the walls, you know, put a folder, a Kremlin wall, Erwin wall, and then put the stake tools and those and run them all separately. Can they all run the break at the same time? Yeah, well, it depends on your computer. I mean, you could run stake detect in a separate command window, but it's going to get slower than what you do. And you can put them all in one folder as well. But then, you know, it just might take three hours. Does so, it depend on your processor? Yes. Or? Yes. And it will go forever because remember I showed you the control C? See, stay detect will end pretty quickly. Stay break, it will go forever. Because remember, some of them had thought there was stuff in them, but there was none. Because remember, there was only two we had with stuff, and yet it kept going. Because it's still going to want to break every file, even though there's nothing in them. So then, you know, just. Normally, it'll break them first, and once it stops breaking them, and it's just going through the dictionary thing, you can normally stop it. So usually, so, for the ones that it know, but it knows the password for, it will find those, and, pretty then quick. It'll, and then it'll keep going to the ones that it thinks there's. Right. I, I don't know exactly how the the order it does it, but it seems to find them mostly first, and then just sits there and goes back and tries the rest. But they're all pretty simple. So you're gonna have to know what I hit in it, you'll find that, and what was the MD5, y'all should know how to do that by now. And, you know, okay. How long was the access? So, and, and read this here, the text, I love you, in the question, actually in the question below, is a text that is embedded inside the JPEG. The text will change for every question. You'll be answered 120 questions out of 60, so most likely you need to cover more than 20. Okay. And the text has been in many different formats. You'll need to determine the format. It might be a PDF, it could be a JPEG, it could be a PNG, it could be text. Okay. okay? Any questions? Not now. Not now. Not now. Give me five minutes. I'll text you if I have one. Yeah, text me. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stop this recording then.